morning. Let's get these kids to school. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I say if you want to trench in by that trench we had, you better get started. You might be there next year. Might have to rent more than four hours. All right, we got a plan. Don't know if it's right or wrong, but we got a plan. So, Kayla and I. Are we in the purple or the white? Purple truck. All of our kids are in school, so every now and then Kayla comes to work with me. Because I don't like to clean the house. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to go get a little gravel for where we were putting that water line in yesterday. And then we're gonna spread some lime. It is lime time again. You locked me out. Woo. Wow. The gravel pit we're going to, it is just a few miles, like two or three miles down the road. Pretty easy to get to, pretty conveniently located. So this shouldn't take long and then we'll get to spreading. But let's be honest, do you guys really think that's what's going to happen or do you think there'll be a change of plans? I'm thinking there's going to be a change of plans. What do you think? I just want lunch. Appreciate the honesty. I think we could load the lime really quickly with that loader. Had to run dad over some spray nozzles. He's putting on some fertilizer on some of the wheat, doing some spraying on it too. And he's out nozzles. So we're not putting on a big rate. This is actually 10.34.0 in that tank. Uh, but we haven't fired this tank up in quite a while. So hopefully this thing will start. First fire up here. That's good. It'll at least run. My dad's gonna put a little bit of water in the sprayer just to make sure it's good, and then we'll be good to go. Dad needed a little bit of help with a boom flush, but all the nozzles are working, nothing's plugged up, nothing's leaking, and I think he is good to go. Out here, buddy, we uh, side dress the wheat. Let's get started first thing. Sprayer is fired up. Got going you know, everything working, I think. Uh, feels good to be back in the sprayer, back in the field. Nice day out. It'll be 70 degrees today, so that's good. See if we can't get this wheat done. Close to getting done today, I hope. I don't know. Get some other things going on, to later on. Got to take care of, so we'll see how it goes. A little six acre field here. Take much to do that one swallows pretty well in. Put it all with streamer nozzles. I'll show you here in a minute. I'll get this field done, get this other field, I'll show you what that means. If you spray your 28 on your wheat with nozzles, flat fans or flat fans or something like that, you're gonna it'll cover all the leaf and it burns the leaf. So these little streamer bars or streamers shoots it out in like five seven streams and it don't burn the wheat so bad. So I'll show you what that does here in a minute. Okay, I'll try to show you what these streamer bars are doing. If you can see it, uh, if you can tell it or not, down there. Maybe this side's a little better, I don't know. It's hard to see, but it shoots it out in like seven streams, this does. It just drops on the wheat, so. And the old bow, they did some updates on it. Got the boom over straightened up. So the end was bent a little bit, got that straightened up. Everything worked fine. Steering seems to be working pretty good. This field's really long and crooked, so a thin spot in the wheat. That's not got spread any wheat there. Now we're painting down there. You see, uh, people don't know this first time or so. Watch this. Firing this line right here. We got an auto steer now. We need to fire that line, and it paints it as it sprays. And it shuts these sections shut off as it's already been sprayed. I can turn it off over the button down here. That'll turn that off where it'll just keep spraying. But uh, that makes it nice so it don't lap so much. All right, time to load up. All right, 
right, so this is the field that we started uh, probably like two weeks ago. We're gonna finish it before I forget it. Very goofy shaped field. It's only 15 acres, but it's very long and narrow. first round around the edge sometimes that boom get a little close that boom's got a breakaway on it it's something to break back that tip out there the end seven or eight feet putting on about 15 gallon that's about the least i can put on yeah, i gotta weave our way through the neighbor's place over to we got a field on the other side of these buildings we're gonna spread it and then we are going to head out so uh, have a have a funeral we're going to this afternoon and that'll probably be it for today so in some of the lime videos i feel like there's been a little bit of confusion over why we do lime or what it is i think some people believe it is fertilizer this is crushed limestone it is not fertilizer but what it does do is it helps our soil use our fertilizer without using lime and keeping a high ph um i need to pay attention to what i'm doing here hate it when work gets in the way of YouTube. Anyways, if we don't do this, we won't be able to take advantage and use the fertilizer that we are spreading and we'll be wasting it. It'll be binded up into the soil. So this is pretty, you know, pretty big deal. We need to do it. Now this field here, it doesn't call for lime all over the field, just a small portion of it. Uh, the whole field's 30 some acres, only seven acres are actually calling for lime. Okay, run out, had to go get some uh, more 28. I can run about uh, 80 gallons to a tank, about what I'm doing, or 80 acres to a tank, but on 15 gallons. Pass past this field, and move over next farm over. We're gonna farm in between us here, and fold up. I put everything in my phone. It's called Farm Logic program we've had for years, and uh, that way I put it on the computer, print things out, reports out, so it's actually pretty nice. All right, guys, back from the funeral. Never a pleasant thing to go to, but you know you gotta you gotta pay your last respects. But anyways, I'm gonna hop in the spreader and yeah, get back to Lyman. I should mention before anyone asks, uh, it's no one that's been on the channel before. It was, it was a close family friend. Uh, cancer sucks. And the lime pile is disappearing now. So we do have some uh, rain in the forecast, and it looks like once it rains, it's gonna rain the next two days tis the season in spring we usually end up working around the rains so that's usually plays a lot on our schedule dictates how much work we get to do when we get to do it i am going to go spread a field that has wheat in it uh, it's okay to drive on the wheat right now once we get rain though maybe not so it's calling for lime might as well try to do it now i don't think i've mentioned yet how we determine how much lime we're putting on a piece of property soil tests we're using soil tests to determine what the ph of the ground is that way we only put the lime where we need it. Because if you've been following along, lime lowers, no, lime raises your pH closer to seven. You wanna get your, you know, your soil closer to seven pH. That way you're not tying up nutrients. Fertilizer is not a cheap commodity right now, especially with the, uh, you know, the stuff going on in the world. So you don't wanna waste that stuff. And you wanna be efficient with it. So this lime will help us be more efficient with it. Make sure that we're actually using the fertilizer we put in the ground and not just having it tied up and unusable. Rain's definitely coming. 
So this is uh, some of the wheat that we ran the vertical tillage tool to get over. You can still see the waves in it, I think. At least I can feel them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we sold our wheat drill. We were supposed to have the, the air seeder we bought before wheat uh, planting. We didn't get it. So we spread our wheat seed on and then came back in and turbo tilled it in with a turbo max. Only problem was that turbo max wasn't level and it was pretty wore out and just the general design of a turbo max. It bounced a lot, especially the second pass. BJ was probably running maybe a little too fast, coupled with the unlevelness, coupled with the, just a perfect storm of bad conditions and settings made this these fields all basically a train wreck. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask how we're going to correct that. I am hoping that by pulling a rolling basket behind our accelerator, that that will eventually level it out a little bit, a rolling harrow. I don't know, maybe it won't, but uh, it's, it's pretty rough. If not, we'll have to cultivate it. But uh, this is probably our worst looking wheat field. It's just thin looking, I think. It just doesn't look as good as the others. I think Dad only single spread this one. It was the last one, and I think we were running low on wheat. Uh, all the other fields we double spread and the, the, the stand is much better. The stand looks really good. So, uh, oh well. Normally I wouldn't worry about it because we've always referred to wheat as poverty grass because we don't really make a lot of money on wheat. Well this year it's not going to be the case. The recent events in Russia and Ukraine have really made the wheat market explode because those two countries are the top uh, two producers of wheat in the world. So uh, that's made our wheat worth quite a bit more money. So you may be wondering why is this pile of lime taking so long to get rid of? Because we're constantly filling. We did six acres, and now we're back. Now, we could dump the lime at the field, but like I've stated before, we're trying to keep this stuff dry. Uh, this, this lime pile is not just going on one field, it's going on multiple fields. And, uh, you know, we're spreading when we can. So that's why it's in the barn. We got a couple farms that are gonna take most of a day. Uh, we're probably either going to have new shipments of lime drop there or we'll haul a couple loads of lime in our dump truck to the field. But that's kind of logistically why this lime is still in this building and why this is taking a long time. This field wavy stuff, boy, you can see the old suspension working up and down. Raining in the sunshine. Typical spring weather.